Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this um, really cute um, Ferrero Rocher gift box. Um, I figured that they seem to be a very, very, very popular um, choice of gift box across the YouTube. Um, every person that I follow um, has done one and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Ferrero Rocher gift boxes whether it's for a single Ferrero Rocher or for multiple there are lots out there so I figured I'm going to do one too and uh, add to the the vast array of uh, designs out there so this is my take on it um, I received the uh, stylish stems framelits from Stamping Up and the particular reason that I ordered these was for the um, non-framed framelits. So it's a bit of a mouthful, but basically these ones will cut out the detail, not the actual um, flower. So a lot of our framelits, we, will, we would cut that out and we would have that whole piece separate from the card. Whereas this one leaves it in the card. So they don't have a final frame around the outside there. And I love these. There aren't a lot of places that do them. There's not a load of them around. And if you do find them, they can be quite pricey as well. And they're usually like big um, toppers, great big kind of frames that you can have. So um, that's the main reason why I brought this. And there's the, just these two. The rest of the pack's just got other leaves and stems and things like that. Um, but these are the two main flowers. So I've used the smaller of the two. And as you can see there, it just gives a really nice um, detail um, to this box. Um, I've put a white backing behind it just so they really pop and just match that with the ribbon. Um, but this box is really easy to make and you don't have to worry if you haven't got these um, framelits. You could um, die cut something and have it on the outside to get the same kind of um, look. Or you could just cover it with some nice um, printed paper. Um, that would work just as lovely. I've purely done this um, because I haven't used them yet and um, I really like that style. So um, this one here just opens up and inside, oh, I haven't stuck these down because I need them to put into this next one I'm going to make, but there you go. You've just got three nice little Ferrero Rochers, but you can just pop a little glue dot on them um, once they are in place. Um, and then just seals kind of like a little, um, like those American style lunch boxes with the handle that kind of moves over. It's got that kind of look about it when it's on the side there. So it's a really straightforward, easy peasy box. So let's crack on. You're going to need for this one, a piece of um, cardstock that measures seven and a half by seven and three quarters. Um, you will need two pieces of white card. This is obviously if you have a similar kind of die like this, um, but if you just want to use the DSP, then this will work on the outside as well for you. So you'll need two pieces of this and this measures one and three eighths by four and five eighths of an inch. You will need some ribbon um, of choice and this was roughly about 13 inches. So it depends on how you like to do your bows but I, mine was 13 inches. Um, and then any kind of flowers or anything if you do want to decorate some more. So and a hole punch as well. Okay so let's pop those two to one side. Keep your card stock, grab your scoreboard and you are going to need to score first of all so scoring along the seven and three quarters of an inch side you're going to score at one and a half inches and at six and a quarter inches okay then rotate that onto the seven and a half inch side and you're going to score at three do it that way at three quarters of an inch one and a half inches three inches four and a half inches, six inches, and six and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that is all of the scoring done. So now you can remove the scoreboard. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, this is now when I'm going to die cut my flowers. So again, if you do have the little framelits this is your base. So on one side you want the flowers to face that way and then you turn it around and then you do the flowers so they're facing that way. So then when you hold the box upwards, both of your flowers on each side are facing up that way and not the other way. So just start off, I put the first one in the center and then work out. And then again, I'll turn that one upside down and I'll do that side and work out. 
So I'm just going to go along and get those die cut. This is when you would want to add your DSP if you don't have these dies um, or if you've got any nice flowers. Um, maybe if the, you've got the flowers and they're quite 3D, I wouldn't apply them yet. But if you're doing anything that's flat, just being stuck straight down or die cutting, then do that now. And I will meet you back again when I have to cut all of mine out. OK. OK, so I've run that all through and you can see there how lovely that's die cut is it's just really makes the box I also when I put the Ferrero Rochers in without this backing the white backing on it it still looked quite nice just with like the gold of the wrapping from the sweets um, so you don't you don't even have to have this add this bit so there's lots of um, you know alternative ways to do this so but if you are following mine exact now you need to just apply the white card to the back so all you want to do you literally just kind of tacking this in place you don't need to go crazy just a little bit of glue where you've got some spaces and that will be enough to hold it in place because it's just to kind of sit against that wall of the box so I'm just going to lie that piece there this is just thin paper don't go you know just raided my scrap drawer you don't need to use any of your, your good good stuff There we go. And there you can see. Done. You could always put some nice little um, like uh, gems in there as well in the middle or something. That would look quite cool. But anyway, I'm going to stop. That's all we need to do at the minute. So grab your bone tool. As once again, I've left mine on the other side. But there you go. And then just very carefully, just fold over all your sides and just burnish those all the edges that you've scored earlier. Taking extra care around the edges there, like so. Okay, now this is when you will find it easiest to hole punch your holes. So basically, uh, just grab, I've just got one of these hole punches here, and you want to hole punch in the middle of this um, top rectangle here. Um, so from this score line here just into the middle and just by eye you just roughly well, I say roughly you obviously want it to look nice um, I'm going to do that one and that one like so so from my thumb to my thumb there that's not bad if you do want to measure it just grab your ruler so you can get that exact so that's when you want to do that bit and now just to cut all the pieces out so we are going to cut first of all we're going to cut, so with the whole punch side facing you, from that first score line, cut down to the second score line, and then again along that uh, second score line into the, the middle there, so you've cut that square out. And again, just do exactly the same on the other side. Like so. And then rotate the box, so you've got the other end facing you, and do exactly that along this top side. like so and then you just want to then have the three squares facing you on the other side and just cut up each one to that first score line and the two outer ones just very slightly just notch those out just literally sheer Ooh. just a little bit off the sides and again rotate And just take a little bit off. Like so. There we go. So now all we need to do is stick it together. Oh, there's corner punch as well. So I just corner punched on these side pieces here. I flip it over, it's easier that way. Kind of hold it up like so. Yep. 
so because you're going to have that side I had my bow and you've got that nice finish here so you've got the kind of exposed bit there at the back so with that in mind you bring your two say this is going to be our back bring those two up and then you'd have that one sticking down last so that again you get that nice finish like so okay my card this particular this yellow one doesn't feel as good that go that um it's from the same pack but that purple is brilliant it hasn't cracked or anything but this one here you just see it's just looking a little bit so i'm not I'm not overly impressed with that yellow one in particular the color is lovely but the um quality doesn't feel as good even though it's from the same pack anyway i'm rabbling on um so we need to stick this one in the middle so with the outside facing you just pop some should i take that off first so, and then you want to pop some more on the bottom square, so on this one here, like so. And just do that again on the other side as well because it's easier if you do it when they're all lying flat. Oh, I almost ripped the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Obviously, if you've got fuse, this would be much quicker. But I, as I've mentioned before, like this tape. And it lasts me forever. Okay. Done. Right. So, what you want to do, first of all, is just bring in the middle one. Bring up this back one. And stick it over the top of that middle one nice and straight and then just bring your front one up and line it all up over the top like so so again just with this one here so bring up the bottom one stick the top one and then the other one there you go and then all you need to do is apply your Ferrero Rochers, stick it in, and do it up. So I'm just going to grab my little bit of ribbon. So it was roughly 13 inches. Just going to neaten those edges there. anything in this you can fit all kinds of bits and pieces in it's quite a nice do a single little uh, chocolate bar It'd look quite cute as well there we go just tidy and corner that one off there there you have it just gonna finish that one off as well this is my favorite this purple one purely because that card on that yellow one is not very nice but you get what you need to do. You've got the um, all the directions now, so hopefully you would have chose a better card than I did. I think I'm going to uh, put all those yellow ones. I've only got about two left, I think. I'll put them into my scrap drawer, and they can work for die cutting and stuff. But there you go. Two really sweet little boxes to hold three Ferrero Rochers. So really, really quick one this um, today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more of my ideas and designs. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.